glasses that I found from the charity shop. I absolutely love them. I wanted like a chunkier glass for my iced coffee because it's getting warm here and it's really nice to start the morning with an iced coffee. It looks a bit watery because I always add water so I don't add too much milk. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to another studio vlog. Oh, good evening should I say. It's about 12 or 1 o'clock now. This morning I went to the charity shop and bought loads of cute stuff like you were listening. I also filmed a TikTok of me doing like a little thrifting unboxing. But today I need to do something that I have been meaning to do for quite some time now and it's to create a content schedule so back when I first ever started catnip and I was starting to get into the swing of it I was learning all about marketing how to market yourself on social media how to grow an Instagram following and all that I used to schedule my content so that I would stay consistent because consistency is key and people would know when to expect my content but as I've got busier and busier and the business has grown I found myself slipping a little bit when it comes to consistency and I always have a planner with my to-do list of things that I want to get done that week but I found that the content schedule has kind of went out the window and I haven't had chance to sit down and think right Monday is for Instagram Tuesdays for TikTok so I really need to find a way to schedule in the content and get it so that I'm consistent again because there's been like a five day gap and I never used to have gaps on Instagram from publishing on Instagram and stuff and because now I do YouTube and when I started I didn't do YouTube it was primarily Instagram and Facebook but now I've got YouTube and now TikTok it's just all over the place and I'm, I just find that I'm grabbing the camera and shooting here and then. It feels really chaotic and messy. So, so I'm going to try and mix things up a little bit and see if it gets me more productive at work and helps me procrastinate a little bit more. So. Procrastinate less. Yeah, you said you're good at procrastinate more. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not good at procrastinate more. Hopefully procrastinate less. And I'm going to get into answering some Instagram DMs and comments and yeah, chill out on my laptop. Was this nice for you? designing the little templates I've actually printed these out a bit too faded compared to the digital download but 
whatever i did one with saturday sunday where it was like half in a block but then i thought if i'm going to be offering it in my tea shop some people might want a whole sunday because weekends is still uh quite popular on social media and i think i'm actually going to use this one i think this one actually looks nicer but i'm going to put both in the digital download if you guys want any they'll only be on for like £1.25 or something like that uh, that you can download and print out yourself and print it on your wall. I've printed these out on A5 but they are actually A4. I just scaled them down to A5. Uh, so I'm going to use this one and I think I'm going to plan, yeah, plan my social media. finished my little social media planner slash calendar I actually made a new file where this was darker you see the text here I've done a grey file as well and I'll probably offer all four in the files probably and this is my plan I think for the social media so on Monday is studio vlogs and it on TikTok I'm going to do a sample of the studio vlogs which I haven't really done before kind of like a little trailer on a Tuesday it's going to be a product showcase so I'm going to show something that we've got in our shop and the same goes for TikTok on a Wednesday I want to do some of our characters like a new illustration featuring our characters and I'm going to put that on Instagram and TikTok on Thursday we have a challenge or an illustration so I could do like a drawing prompt something new I'm not sure what it's going to be but something along those lines like a new illustration maybe a draw this in your style challenge so what I'm hoping this will do is when I'm feeling uninspired and I haven't created a TikTok or an unboxing or anything like that that week I can turn back to this planner and look back and think oh well I've got this in place I could do this this week so and it just kind of helps to organize my brain like that because then hopefully I'll be a little bit more productive and I'll be a little bit more consistent because that is definitely what I've been lacking on social media lately is the consistency I haven't been great at it and it also goes with YouTube as well I've noticed my YouTube has been slacking too so I would I'd had like a two week gap in some of them and I think it's fine as well if you want to take that gap that is absolutely fine you do not need to upload content every day this is just a challenge for myself if I find that this is too much like uploading content every single day on each platform that I want to then I probably will readjust my content goals and structure but for now I'm going to try with this and see how I get on and yeah wish me luck anyway today I really really need to order some new thank you cards so I have noticed that a lot of you guys collect these thank you cards and even my brother collects them so he takes one when a new one comes in he takes one and collects it so then what I've decided to do seeing as a lot of you already do this naturally I decided to make them actually collectible so I'm going to actually officially make my first collectible card so anything above then is kind of like pre-collectible and is super collectible anything you've collected then and then the thank you cards that are that are from kind of now on I'll release when the new thank you cards are going out they'll be collectible ones so they'll have a number on them and that's what I think I'm going to do so you can collect them all and um, yeah then you can have like collectible cards and you'll know in the series what you've had and then maybe a date I don't know let me know what you guys think what would you like to see in these collectible ones I unintentionally did thank you cards like back in 2016 I think it was or oh, when I first started I always put thank you cards in and they just said thank you on the front but then I started adding them as mini art prints so people could actually use them rather than them just bin in it I decided to make them as like art prints and then unintentionally people have been collecting them so whenever a new thank you card gets released people will order maybe just like a cheap sticker pack or whatever and they'll get the new thank you cards and they'll kind of collect them so it's pretty cool it wasn't intentional but hey ho we've got ourselves a little collectible item side item here so that's what i'm going to design today so let's get to work on that let's get into the working day shall we
but I have finally finished doing the thank you cards. This design is actually what was used for my Patreon exclusive wallpaper. So every month over on Patreon, you get a digital download with a phone wallpaper and a desktop wallpaper. It's actually what I've got on my desktop wallpaper right now and also what I've got as my phone wallpaper too. So every month we do that on Patreon and I just like the design so much that I decided to make it into the thank you card. For this month and then I also made it into a mouse mat so I adjusted all the illustrations and stuff to fit a ma mouse mat I just thought it'd be really cute because it's a really nice message and we also have the original bumble but mouse mats that have been made square this was the original one be kind to your mind there but I don't know it's just really colorful and lights up the desk really really well and adds a pop of color a lot of people have like white desks or like wooden desks and I don't know it just looks Look at that, it just looks really, really cute, I think. So this is gonna be the front, so I did a little test print. And this is gonna be the back. So I worked on finding a way to do kind of a statement to say the number of the collectible item that it was, the thank you card. And I couldn't really think of an idea, so I had this little tag thing at first. But then I thought, how cute would it be to do kind of like a stamp as if it's been stamped? So I did a little stamp and it just says collectible card 001 because it's the first official collectible card and then it just says the time of year that the collectible card was released. So this is spring and summer 2021 and I'm sure in summer there's going to be uh, a different design as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with uh, the progress that we've made on those. It makes me super, super happy that we've got that far. Um, now I just need to send the thank you cards off. I'm really, really happy with the sizing and everything it's always good to do a test print just to make sure um the text is all right because there's nothing worse than ordering like a thousand of something or a hundred of something or even 50 of something and it turning out wrong um because <laughs> you made print errors i still make print errors even though i do this uh but yeah the one time i didn't do a proof i had loads of errors in it and it's also nice just to see on paper because sometimes i don't know about you guys but when i'm designing things sometimes it looks central on photoshop and then I print it out and it doesn't look right, it's off centre or something. So it's always nice to just print it out to make sure that it works okay. And also I'm really happy with that mouse mat. So I've actually, I've been using this mouse mat, the gingham one, my Bumble Book gingham one. But I'm thinking this is going to look, oh so bright over there. I'm thinking this is going to just brighten the corner of my desk up, look at that. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on that. I'm also going to edit some TikToks. I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. So the new thank you cards that I ordered the other day have officially arrived and they look really cute. So I actually opted, let me turn it down so you can see it a bit better. Uh, I actually opted for a velvet lamination, which is slightly more expensive than the general silk print, uh, just to give it more of a collectible feel for the official first one. And on the back, it's got the little stamp on that says collectible and this is how many there is of this batch so the first official uh, thank you card there's a thousand here there'll probably be a bit less because Matthew will want to keep one and possibly Mike um, and myself so this is the first official one I'm definitely going to keep one to myself so I can collect them is it weird if you collect your own stuff? I don't know but I'm collecting it anyway um, it'd be weird if I didn't collect it right? I don't know. Anyway, the lamination on them is slightly more expensive, but I would like your opinions on this. Like, would you be bothered about it being laminated? Is it a bit unnecessary for you? I have got that buttery smooth velvet lamination for those of you who've bought my bookmarks on my greeting cards. It's the same lamination. I got it put on the front. 
I just really like the feel of it. I don't know, it's just really nice to touch. But if you think it's a bit unnecessary for thank you cards and that I've went a bit overboard, please let me know in the comments. Or if you think it's a really nice touch to add, then definitely let me know as well. So there's a thousand of those arrived and the only way to get them is through a purchase on my Etsy store or hopefully through catnip.com when that finally gets finished. Oh my gosh, I was meant to literally have my own shop last year and I just like, I don't know what, I've been procrastinating like crazy. I just thought it's a nice little extra to say thank you to my customers and yeah, I think being collectible is even more fun, isn't it? I love collecting stuff. Good morning guys, it's currently Monday again and I have some small unboxings to show you. I actually have loads, so I'll have to spread them out over two vlogs. But first of all, we've got these beautiful, this cool crochet yarn bunting. Look at this, I've never seen anything like this before. I actually have a little party box at home and I store all of this type of stuff in. And when I throw parties, I reuse them. So this is super cool because it's not paper, it's not gonna get ripped. And you can just bring it out all the time. And also you could just keep it out because it looks so cool. And that was from Carly at Unicorn Puffs and Rainbows. She's also gave you this 10% discount code as well if anyone wants to find them. But you can just pause the video and you can find it here. Next up, we've got a huge bundle of goodies from Toffee Apple Studios which kind of does all this hamster type themed stuff and they've sent me all sorts of cute stuff like this notebook which is lined we've got a little greeting card here we've got some cute badges with bunnies on and I really like these these are really really cool it's seeded and plantable greeting cards so you can plant these and seeds will uh, grow from it which I thought was really really cool and cards these and then a tote bag saying toffee apple studios as well that looks like this and it came in this really cool crate which i really really love and you can find them here at toffee apple studios over on etsy so thank you so much for that they're so cute next up we had such a huge bundle of goodies sent to us by rainbow daddy and he made us some custom some custom jumpers with the catnip logo on and i've actually worn the green one, he sent me a green one as well, but it's in the wash at the moment because I literally have been wearing it like every single week. But then he also sent us all loads of goodies. Little custom tags like this that you can put like a keychain holder. Look at these, there's Emily's, there's mine with a catnip on the back. And then he also did one for Baby Blue, which is really cool. And he also, look at this, he took our camper van, Peggy, and he printed it on the, like this metal sheet. He also sent us some really, really cute enamel pins. He actually started the business by doing face masks. So we've got a few bunches of face masks here, which are really, really pretty. And also some bags, we've got sent so many things. He's a Dean one for Baby Blue. How cool is that? Because Dean runs Baby Blue. There's literally so many amazing things in here. I couldn't even believe it. It was like Christmas opening all this up. And you can find him right here at rainbowdaddy.com. And I just want to say congratulations to them as well, because they're expecting their first child, which is absolutely epic so thank you so much for that it was literally like christmas day and i can't wait to wear this jumper as well because if it's anything like the green one it's literally so so freaking comfy next up we've got a business called anya richards and she sent us some really really cute washi tapes in these boxes i really love these boxes it just makes them look so cute she sent us this really cool enamel pin uh, which looks like it's got resin over the top. It's really, really cool sparkly bear. And we got some little prints and some little stickers as well. And you can find it here at Anya Richards at UK. Then we've got the beautiful Jessica Woodhouse who sent us some really cute earrings. And I am a sucker for really cute earrings. So we've got these little wooden charm ones. We've got a little sunflower here and we've got a little daisy. And she also sent us through some stickers, which look really cool. I really like her style. And then some art prints prints which I love. These are gonna look so nice in the catnip cafe. And she sent me a little card as well and you can find her here at jessicawoodhouse.etsy.com or Jessica B. Woodhouse. Next up we've got a goodie from the Minimal My Minimal UK and they sent the cutest package. It literally was tied together so nicely but she has sent through some wax melts and they smell so so good and it's made out of soy and i love that all the packaging is reusable you can use these little pouches oh my gosh 
this smells so freaking good as well. It smells so Christmassy. And I think you can find her at My Minimal. I can't find a business card for her, but I think you can find it at My Minimal UK. Um, and it's 100% eco wax. If this is you, please leave a link in the comments below so people can find you because I don't know if you sent me a business card or not, but I can't find it. I'm so sorry. Next up, we got some really super cool art sent to us. We had this beautiful print. We had some really cute magical stickers, but then look at this painting under here. It's Howl. I love this and all the textures and stuff. Man, I wish I could paint like this. Oh man, it looks so freaking cool. I love it. And she has such a cool style. She's called Shelly and you can find her here at Shell Chew. It's so cool. Kinda looks sexy, doesn't he? Next up, we've got some more beautiful art prints from Flavorelli. I'm so sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but she has got such a cool style. I absolutely love the way she illustrates. Like, look at all these, these illustrations. She has a very distinct color palette, and I love this girl she illustrates. It just really pops, and she looks so pretty. I love the black and like this kind of golden sunflower color. Love her work, and you can find her right here. Ta da! I've got a sore voice because it was Ashley's Hindu at the weekend and we went for like afternoon tea and it was just so nice to go out finally. The shops and pubs are opening back up here now and we can finally mix indoors. Anyway, I'm going to finish the vlog here. Put a little planner style emoji in the comments below. Something related to planning and trying to get my social media on track. I didn't upload at the weekend because I was so busy and to be honest I was a little hungover yesterday and let's not tell anyone. Video I have got more small businesses to show you but I don't want to bombard you at the end of the video so I will try and keep it quite minimal on each one. I hope you enjoyed the studio vlog and I'll see you all very freaking soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Alright then. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.